Trains and railways. Migrating caterpillar herd stops train on the tracks. A JR train met its match this past week when a herd of caterpillars decided to cross the tracks. The mass of caterpillars covered several meters of track, and the train passed over two kilometers worth of caterpillars before it suddenly began to slow. An investigation revealed that the caterpillar juices, which spewed out as the train crushed the little buggers, acted like lubrication. As the wheels lost traction with the tracks, the JR was unable to move forward. In the end, the train conductor was forced to reverse the train back to the previous station, while workers were sent out to remove the caterpillars. This is the first time the JR has been stopped because of caterpillars, and maybe the first incident ever. World's longest railway connects China and Spain. China launched a freight train service running between China and Spain in mid-November, which will significantly lower freight costs for Chinese manufacturers. Consisting of 82 wagons, the new Yishino train connects Yiwu, an important wholesale base near Shanghai and Madrid. The complete journey takes 21 days. Yishino will pass through six countries: Russia, Kazakhstan, Belarus. Poland, Germany, and France. The new rail route covers about 13,000 kilometers. Moscow Vladivostok Rosina 002, the second longest route, has a span of about 9,200 kilometers. Yishino's route is about five times longer than that of the Orient Express. Due to incompatible track gauges, Yishino has to stop at three points to be shifted onto different wagons. Snow way! Watch as this Canadian train plows through the snow. Chinese firm aims to build high-speed rail in the U.S. China Railway International USA and Express West have announced plans for a joint venture to build a high-speed railway between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. The 230-mile high-speed railway will connect Las Vegas, Victorville, Palmdale, and Los Angeles. The train would travel at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour, meaning passengers could travel from Las Vegas to Los Angeles in one hour and 20 minutes, compared to four hours by car. Express West, a venture set up by Las Vegas-based hotel and casino developer Marnell Companies, was unable to secure investment for the project from within the United States. It has formed a partnership with China Railway International USA, a consortium led by China Railway, which said the project had initial capital of 100 million US dollars. Nine-year-old averts train disaster by warning of crack in the rail. Sadash, a brave and quick-thinking nine-year-old boy living in a village in India, stopped a train from passing over a faulty section of track. The nine-year-old had noticed the crack in the track when he'd ventured outside to answer the call of nature. Railway officials said track fractures often happen around the onset of summer. Sadesh rushed home and told his father about the fracture, who initially didn't take his son too seriously. But when Sadesh dragged his father to the location of the problem, they began debating on what to do. Finally, when a passenger train approached, Sadesh stood on the tracks, waving his red t-shirt wrapped around a stick to warn the driver. The boy is being hailed as a local hero. Chinese-built electric railway between Ethiopia and Djibouti starts operations. The Chinese-built Ethiopia-Djibouti railway 
officially opened last week, marking the latest instance of Sino-African cooperation. The 750-kilometer railway links the Red Sea port of Djibouti to Ethiopia's capital of Addis Ababa. It is Africa's first electric railway. The trains are powered by overhead wires. The train can travel at a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour, which is much slower than other high-speed trains around the world. The railway is expected to reduce the drive time of seven days between the two places to just 10 hours. China has already invested more than 20.6 billion U.S. dollars in Ethiopia since 2005, mostly in low-interest loans to build infrastructure. Russia's new high-speed railway will take just two days from Moscow to Beijing. Russia is reported to be building a new high-speed rail line that would take just 48 hours to travel from Moscow to Beijing, replacing the iconic Trans-Siberian Railway, according to reports. Moscow has reportedly awarded the contract for a new Moscow to Beijing high-speed rail line to Chinese company China Railway High Speed. The high-speed rail line looks set to replace the aging 9,000-plus kilometer Trans-Siberian Railway. The new, roughly 7,000 kilometer line will be around three times longer than the current longest existing high-speed railway. According to reports, the eight-day journey time of the old railway would be cut to just two days. Reports said that the new rail line has become a top priority for the two countries. All aboard! India's old school railroad system is about to get one hell of a boost as the country begins its high speed rail project with a little help from the Japanese. India has begun construction on its first Japanese bullet train line, which will stretch 508 kilometers from the city of Amenabad to the financial center of Mumbai on the country's western coast. The line is expected to be finished by 2023 and will cut travel time between the two cities down to three hours from the current eight. The new train will be able to carry 750 passengers at an average speed of 250 kilometers per hour with a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. India plans to invest $19 billion in the new line. Japan will fund over 14 billion of the project with a 0.1% interest loan to be repaid over the next 50 years. Analysts say constructing the bullet train will give a boost to infrastructure development in India's rapidly developing western industrial region and help with economic growth. All aboard! Ever wanted to drop 10 large on a train trip through rural Japan? Well, aren't you in luck? The Shikishima train debuted in Japan in May of this year. The service, operated by East Japanese Railway Company, chauffeurs passengers around northeastern Japan on up to almost 1,300 kilometer round trips. The train departs Tokyo's Ueno Station and guests sleep on board overnight. The Shikishima travels at 110 kilometers per hour, three times slower than the Shinkansen, Japan's famous bullet train. The 10-carriage train includes five standard suite cars, one car for a deluxe suite, and the Shikishima suite, plus two observatory cars for viewing and two cars for lounging and dining. Observatory cars allow passengers to take in panoramic views of the Japanese countryside. The train can accommodate 34 passengers in its 17 suites. The Shikishima's dining and lounge cars also allow guests to view the scenery outside. The train's appearance and interior decoration was designed by Ken Okuyama. Although it comes with a hefty price tag, the train service is already booked through April of next year. British trains are getting a tech upgrade. One of Britain's biggest rail watchdogs has laid out plans for the future of train travel, opting for more tech to make commuting easy and fuss-free. Ticketing options for the UK rail system are currently limited to paper tickets and credit cards, but that could change in the near future. Passengers may soon be able to open ticket gates using an app and Bluetooth signals on their smartphones. The lack of physical contact with the gate helps reduce delays and gets more people through during busier times. Eventually, the smartphone option could be replaced by biometrics, with fingerprint and iris scans identifying passengers and charging tickets directly to their travel accounts. New seat designs are also in the works for train carriages. 
One type provides staggered seating for more shoulder space and allows 20 to 30 percent more seats per carriage. Another design has traditional seating that can be converted into an alternative configuration at peak times with tables that unfold into seats for added capacity. The UK rail system will also develop self-regulating trains that can communicate with each other in order to avoid conflicts at junctions. Doing so allows more frequent services and fewer delays. The new plans were unveiled at the Rail Delivery Group's annual conference in Birmingham with plans for some of the upgrades already underway. Trials for smartphone ticketing will begin this year and new seat designs could be built into existing trains within a year. 450 million pounds has also been invested to test the new signaling technology for the intelligent trains. Germany tests the world's first hydrogen-powered train. Germany has successfully conducted trials of the world's first hydrogen-powered zero-emission train in March. The hydrogen-powered train can travel up to 140 kilometers per hour and has the capacity to carry 300 passengers. The fuel cells on top of the train combine hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity, which is then transferred to the lithium-ion batteries inside the train. The train only emits steam and water as byproducts. It is also 60% quieter than traditional diesel trains. Five states in Germany have agreed to buy a total of 60 hydrogen-powered trains. Other countries, including the Netherlands, Denmark, Norway, and the UK, have also expressed interest in the train. Train attendant who fed an armless man praised as Taiwan's railway angel. A Taiwanese train attendant became an internet sensation after a passenger posted a photo of her feeding an armless passenger online. Many netizens praised her act and even called her an angel. Chan Shu Jun, the good-hearted stewardess, only found out about the photo after reading our newspaper, Apple Daily. She did not think it was a big deal even after her husband told her about the newspaper reports on her. Now many passengers recognize her and they like to buy lunch boxes from her, which has led to a 30% increase in her sales performance. One passenger even wanted to hug her. An old couple on the train told our reporter that there should be more people like Chen, and the media should report the bright side of people more often. Chen just got married and had to stay in her dorm in Kaohsiung before Valentine's Day, so she couldn't spend a day with her husband. She could only reunite with him after returning to Taipei.